This morning is the first hearing of the Subcommittee on Science, Manufacturing, and Competitiveness this Congress. I wish to thank the Ranking, ranking Member Baldwin for her help in getting this hearing on the calendar, so thank you. Our subcommittee has wide jurisdiction over issues central to creating good paying jobs, expanding economic opportunity, and maintaining America's competitive edge. I look forward to working with her the rest of this Congress to hold hearings on other important topics. Director Kratzios, thank you for being here today. And before we discuss AI's action plan, I want to thank you for your leadership and laying the groundwork for President Trump's leading the world in supersonic flight executive order. It's another important field of innovation and one where we as a country have fallen behind. We haven't had a commercial Concorde flight in over 20 years, and we have to stay ahead of China in cutting edge aerospace technology. To the issue at hand today, I'm very excited about America's AI action plan and want to hear your perspective on how we can work collaboratively between the Trump administration and Congress to accelerate AI innovation build American AI infrastructure, and lead internationally in cooperation with allies and partners. Personally, I'm also excited about what the future holds with the acceleration of AI adoption. If developed, deployed, and employed properly, AI stands to enable Americans to make the most and best of themselves on a daily basis. We must ensure that our AI policy is anchored in maximizing economic opportunity for Americans. And I'm not just talking about the billionaires in Silicon Valley. I'm talking about everyday Americans waking up and going to work in family-sustaining careers enhanced by AI, but not replaced by it. U.S. leadership and in technological innovation has been the accelerator that has boosted our economy and growth rates ahead of the rest of the world. General purpose technologies like the internet ushered in sustained years of economic growth, wage gains, new jobs, and increased productivity. Critically, U.S. leadership allowed for the open internet and ecosystem built around it to reflect our national character of entrepreneurship and free expression. AI offers similar opportunities as a transformative general purpose technology. AI, for instance, offers a real chance to help achieve the ec economic success and enhance productivity we need to grow our way out of the unsustainable debt path that we're on as a country. As your AI action plan rightly points out, the competition is fierce. The Trump administration has made AI leadership a day one priority. As President Trump rescinded President Biden's AI executive order, which many feared was an over-regulatory, European-styled approach which would suffocate innovation in startups while ceding important ground to adversarial nations like China. The PRC has put forward plans to leverage state resources and capital to make China the global leader in AI by 2030. Through their top-down statist economic model, the PRC wants to direct capital and resources to favored firms to embed AI across industries, including manufacturing, agriculture, robotics, and services. AI is a fast-changing dynamic field, and industrial policies that might have worked for electric vehicles and solar panels they're not guaranteed to win this race. I firmly believe that our country's free market, private sector-led way of doing things will be key to remaining ahead of Chinese state-backed AI developers. To accelerate AI innovation, I look forward to hearing from you on how Congress can partner with the administration and industry to remove roadblocks and provide regulatory certainty to let innovators innovate. Chairman Cruz's AI regulatory sandbox bill will be very helpful here. The federal government can also continue to be a proactive partner, leading the way on adopting AI tools and solutions to streamline and improve government, while also sending an important market signal and presenting a valuable use case. To build out American AI infrastructure, Congress needs to work on comprehensive permitting reform to ensure that we don't lose this race because of a lack of energy production. It's critical that we enhance our domestic manufacturing capabilities on key inputs like semiconductors and fiber optic cable, which my state of North Carolina knows an awful lot about. To lead in AI internationally, the U.S. must lean in to exporting our AI tech stack across the world to allies, partners, and important third countries. AI must be globally diffused within a U.S.-led technology ecosystem. 
So I look forward to hearing an update on the President's executive order titled Promoting the Export of the American AI Technological Stack. The U.S. has all the necessary ingredients to keep our lead and to win the AI race. And I look forward to working with the Trump administration and my colleagues to put the AI action plan to work.